down behind the hissing dragon. But when some thorns got behind her, her confidence was destroyed. As Lacodema wandered off further and further from where she had been left, she went deeper into the unknown, testing her boundaries but exposing herself to dangers she could not even imagine. two cubs like this before, lost in an impossible maze of fallen trees and thickets or snatched up by some passing opportunist. But this time alone established the style of life Lacodema would have to lead. She was learning to be independent. The calls from her mother had stopped but Lacodema can feel her presence. A distant monkey alarm pinpoints her, the bird suddenly taking flight. A sudden silence, all clues that she doesn't miss. She turns north to intercept her. When she hears the alarm nearby, she knows it can't be her mother. The forest seems to conspire against leopards, and Lacodema is as curious as any to see what the problem is. Monkeys litter the forest. Because of the ideal feeding conditions here, each troop can virtually see their neighbors most of the time. Fights break out, and Lacodema leaves off going to meet her mother to investigate the ruckus. It's worth the distraction. Monkeys have always held a special place in her heart. Her intense interest in monkeys started when she was just a few months old watching her mother. To catch a monkey is nearly impossible. It is a mind game, a careful calculation of how to get to the taunting little apes. As a young, impressionable cub, Lacodema watched every move her mother made and learned. What makes it such a challenge is that these agile little apes flip lightly from tree to tree, cleverly understanding that the high branches can take their weight but cannot support a leopard. Leopard know their limitations. Cubs' keen eyes and pliable mind had watched every move in this three-dimensional chess game. With pawns that can leap from tree to tree, 80 feet up in the air, and a queen wrestling with her next move.
leopards have an uncanny ability to visualize an ascent in an instant and mentally plan each foothold before they leap up a thorny tree trunk with a near vertical incline, all while holding a dead weight in their jaws. Lachadima's kill is a good one, the monkey's alpha male. It will throw the troop into disarray for weeks and make them vulnerable. But even though her meal may last a day or two, they will be even more alert now. This knowledge of how to kill and how to survive, handed down from mother to daughter, is a legacy keeping their bloodline alive from generation to generation. Lacadema is the only surviving cub of this territory, chosen by fate to continue that lineage forward. father's side, the burnt ebony male adds his own strong hunting skills and quiet confidence to her genetic mix. His bigger body weight allows for a wider range of hunting than she can manage. But his greatest skill is his ability to clinically analyze the forest with cold calculation. The result is often surprising. When the buffalo stream in from the swamp, Burnt Ebony doesn't move away, but chooses a parallel course. For a leopard to hunt buffalo would be extremely rare. They're too large and much too risky to take on. But he knows what he's doing. In this part of the world, the dust kicked up by a herd is a flag fluttering its signal to every lion in the area. Burnt Ebony doesn't care that he holds his course. sign of a lion, but when he strolls on with little more than a glance over his shoulder, his confidence unnerves the lions. Besides, for them, the air is filled with the scent of a more exciting prey. predators and a chaotic killing field. This is exactly what Burnt Ebony has been waiting for. But he had better beware. The hallmark of a leopard is his sharp mind and instincts, cunning stealth and his cold calculation. Mm. 